we're back. We're the Spicy Sisters. And today we happen to be with a bunch of young ladies. Noisy young ladies. So it's the bachelorette party at our place. Kathy's daughter's getting married. So we're making them a special appetizer tonight. And it's one of the most popular ones on the food blog, Asian Caucasian. And it's actually something you probably see quite often in Chinese restaurants on the menu. And it is crispy salt and pepper tofu bites. Uh, super easy. Even people who hate tofu actually are converted it's by this delicious dish. Had it like, before. Love it. I know tofu deniers who have changed their minds. Yeah. So, anyway, I like to get, and I know Kathy does too, the tofu at Trader Joe's. You don't have to get it there. You just want to make sure you get the firmest you can get, like extra firm or sprouted. This is the sprouted one. You want it to be thick so it holds up and doesn't fall apart when we fry it. So, I what I did is I took the moisture out by wrapping it in um, a kitchen towel. You can use paper towels for about an hour. Um, there, I also have- Can a, you wrap it longer than that? Yeah, you can leave it, like leave it for hours, but um, they have these cool appliances now that it's a tofu press. Oh, I actually cool. have one of those Ooh. and it takes less time and it pushes the tofu down and it just extracts all the moisture off of the liquid. So, what we have, um, I made a little bit extra um, than what it says on the blog because we have extra people here. I'm gonna cut these um, down the middle. The next thing you want to do, there's so few ingredients in this recipe, but I have just regular old cornstarch here, and I'm going to add to it a little bit of chili pepper. Base this on how hot and spicy you like things. I'm going to add it right into the cornstarch, and then I'm going to add some regular black pepper and good old kosher salt. Yeah, we're gonna salt it again, actually, after. I'm just gonna take like a spoon or something to mix this all up, like so. Did you make it spicy? Because we're the spicy sisters. sisters. You got that, you got that right. Okay. So we have a few um, green onions here that we're going to use for um, just garnish. See? Look how beautiful. I have a, a nice serving platter and I'm going to start, my hands are clean, but I'm going to plate. Do you want me to plate. cut the green onions? Yes. Let's cut just the green. pieces. Oh my God. I haven't had this in a while. I, Wait, it is just so good. I'm hungry. It is so good. So good. So good. And sprinkle. And yeah. sprinkle. And then we are, and then we're gonna use some just sweet chili sauce right out of the bottle. I got this one at Trader Joe's. You can find this at any grocery any store. store. Yeah. But it's actually really good combo with this. And that is a beautiful side dish, a little appetizer. 
Should we let the girls Maybe. sample? I don't know. Should we? Should I guess we, we let will. you all see the bachelorette and her little bridesmaids? Yeah, we'll go get them. We'll be right back. Here comes the bride-to-be. This is our bride-to-be Darby. And she's going to be our first taste tester. I can't wait to try this. this. Good. Really good. Right, our turn. Mm -hmm. Our turn. I don't know. We might have to eat all of it. Oh. Mmm. Mm. That's so good. Mmm. A toast with the bride. Okay. Right here. Where are you going? <laughs> Little uh, Italian Fico. Bubbly. Always the best. Cheers. Uh, a, a cheers. Ooh. No, we got it. I got yeah. it. Right. I got Let's it under go. control. Let's do a little toast to tofu and Darby. Darby. And weddings. And Darby. Uh. Oh, that was close. Until next time. Cheers. This is the Spicy Sisters. And if you want this recipe, go to my food blog at AsianCaucasian.com. See you next time.